Hello guys, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful twin flame meeting. I hope you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know. Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me, the emails and the donations. It really means the world to me guys and it blows me away every day. So thank you so, so much. Um, I do love you all so very much. So I'm going to get started with the Divine Masculines to see what the Divine Masculines current energy is and how they're feeling, what they're experiencing. I'm going to use the daily guidance to start the reading and then I'll use some other decks as well and I'll get some communication and, and then I will begin a card for you as well to my feminines to help you stay focused to believe and trust in what you already know. If any of you guys would like a private reading for a clearer message for your beautiful unique twin flame journey just email me it's in the description box down below and I can book you in and all the information about the reads my readings how I do them and the prices is in the description box down below as well. So what is it we need to know today about the Divine Masculine's current energy, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing? I do use the labels Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine because that's how I channel. Please don't be offended, just in your situation, how it resonates. I do realise it's just energy. My readings are timeless as well, so it doesn't matter when you've clicked onto the reading. If you feel connected to me and you understand me and the message resonates, it means it's for you. So let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculines today. Fresh air. They're feeling refreshed, guys. And at the top of the... I mean, it's not the top of the deck. The bottom of the deck is relationship, yeah. Because they're having this relationship themselves with higher power, you know, they're feeling refreshed. And to help the divine masculines um, to feel this, ref you know, refreshed feeling, to feel this newness, it really helps them to go out into the fresh air, to connect with nature. Um, because that's where they feel in tune with themselves and with God, with the universe and with the angels. So they're feeling this freshness, this newness of life um, and spending time in nature guys so that's amazing that's a good start for the divine masculine so next i'm going to be using the um work your light oracle deck to see what else is coming through for the divine masculine's energy but they're feeling fresh <laughs> and i've said that quite recently in my readings as well about this you know the divine masculine's are feeling refreshed and new because they've ended this tough cycle so <clears throat> Life is a breath of fresh air for the Divine Masculines now because they are in their truth and they're seeing through the eyes of love and they're seeing life so differently and it's so such a, you know, a refreshed feeling. So let's see what else comes out. There's one here that's around the wrong way, guys. So I'm going to take that because that's obviously for a reason. Take a break. A life's work, not... A life's work's not a season. Get off the treadmill. So yeah, they're gonna have. They are definitely having to spend some time in nature, relaxing and taking a break, being calm. I'm gonna pick another one for the divine masculines as well. The age of light. You've been training for this the whole of your lifetime. Yeah. And at the bottom of the deck is crumbling. What are you clinging on to? So all of the things that the divine masculines were clinging on to is crumbling away. Is being removed. And this is why they're feeling this refresh. This is why they're feeling this fresh air. Everything is just new and clear. It's not distorted. It's not blurred. It's not muzzy. Everything's so pure and fresh. And as you can see with this beautiful card as well, you can see all the fresh and the new and everything's so bright and beautiful and everything that's no longer serving the Divine Muscle is breaking away, it's coming away, it's crumbling down. So that's amazing, isn't it, guys? And the Divine Muscles are realising that everything that they've experienced in their life has been for a reason. And, it's, and, you know, what they are today is through those experiences, you know, that they are who they are today by, you know, feeling this strength, feeling this courage, because they're seeing things so differently. And they are you know taking a break they're not feeling as if they've got to be doing 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 they're actually taking time to give themselves self-love to listen to themselves to to 
recognize how certain things make them feel so they're taking this break and a lot of this break and when they're doing this self-love could be in nature that's what i'm getting from this today in this reading and they want to get off this you know as i said they want to get off at this treadmill of doing 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 rushing and feeling that they have to give so much all the time they know the importance of giving to self first and I'm so grateful for this awareness now that, you know, understanding why certain things have happened, you know, with this card here, the Ace of Light. Everything is clear. They're in the light. They understand. Which is, again is showing that Divine Muskins understand that you are meant to be with each other. They're meant to be giving love to themselves. It is their time. They've been preparing for this their whole life to where they are right now, to be able to see the light, to be able to see so clearly life for what it really is. The whole world has changed because they're putting love into the situation, everything's fresh and new. And they're feeling safe and protected to be able to have this break, to take a step back from doing, 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 giving, giving, giving. They know that how important to give to self, like I've said. So I'm going to pick one more card from another deck and I'm going to use the um, Soul Coaching Oracle deck to see what comes out for the Divine Masculines. <laughs> that just, they just flipped out, so a lot going on with the Divine Masculines today. So let's see what comes out. Um, what else do we need to know today about the Divine Masculines current energy, how they're feeling? They're feeling this freshness, they're spending time in nature, taking a break from the treadmill. And understanding that they've been preparing for this their whole life and in the time that you've been in preparation, why you haven't been with a physical person, preparing what they are now and what they're about to be able to show you to express to you their true self love what is our sorry what else do we need to know about the divine masculines i'm going to do it like that so i can have room to put them inspiration yeah they're feeling this inspiration because they're giving to themselves making time for themselves and we have grace at the bottom of the deck life is you know so different for the divine masculines they're being in their grace they're flowing with life, just being, coming off that treadmill, doing everything for everybody else. They're making this time for self. So you, they are being, they're feeling this inspiration. They're feeling inspired today as well. Feeling like they can do anything. They can do anything because of truth. Fear isn't getting in the way of the divine masculine. So they're feeling this inspiration. They're getting ideas. They're being creative. They're making plans, they're making changes in such a peaceful, calm, graceful way. So sincere, so genuine. Things are falling into place because they're living their life so differently. They're taking a break from, from the th doubt and the fear, the thoughts, the toxic thoughts that's made them feel so stuck and stopped them so much in their life. They're feeling this inspiration, this, they're feeling inspired today to make these changes because they're feeling confident, they're feeling secure, they're feeling protected and loved because of truth. So I'm going to get some communication from the Divine Musculines now. I'm going to use the Divine Musculine 101s from beautiful Liz Harrison from Guided by Angels to see what the Divine Musculines would love to say to you today. What is it the Divine Musculines would love to share and express? Nice clear message, please. Divine masculines, the divine feminines. We're always and forever. Yeah, they know that you're always and forever. I love you. They love you. And I think about speaking my truth. There you go. And at the bottom of the deck is I miss our chats. So they miss talking to you. They really do miss your chats. Um, and the next time that they want to chat to you, they want to speak their truth. They're thinking about speaking their truth. And 
I feel that you're going to find it so different as well, Divine Feminine Spirit. It's going to be a breath of fresh air because it's going to be so new, it's going to be so different because of this transformation the Divine Musculines have been undergoing and they love you. They love you. However it seems, they do love you guys and you know this deep within your heart and soul. And we are always and forever. They know that you're always and for, forever. And this is why they are preparing and they're making changes to be able to speak their truth because they know you're always and forever. I'm going to use George's deck from Blue Eyes Tarot to see what else the Divine Muscles have got to say today from their true self to express and how they're feeling, what they want you to know. What is it the Divine Muskins would love to say today to the Divine Feminines? We will be reunited, yeah. I'm facing my inner fears. We are one. There you go, guys. But always forever, we are one. And transformation, yeah, they've had this transformation. You're going to see this transformation very soon because they've been facing their inner fears. They haven't been hiding this anymore. They've been facing it full on because they want to deal with it because they know that you're always going to be together. You are forever. They can't get away from this love. They love you. They've tried to stop loving you. They've tried everything in their power to move away from this. But now the Divine Musculines aren't fighting this anymore. They're not resisting. They're going with this love. They're being truthful because they face their fears of how they felt about themselves. And they want you to know that you are going to be reunited. However it seems, you're going to be reunited. And you know that really within yourself. You know that you can feel it within yourself that this is happening. So I'm going to use my deck next, Messages from Your Other Self, um, to see what else the Divine Muskins would love to say. Well, they'd love to share and express to you from their true self. What is it the Divine Muskins would love to share and express? This is the ultimate love. Yes, it is the ultimate love. You're the most precious thing in my life. And you are all I will ever need. They know that you're everything that... Sorry, you, they know that you're everything they'll ever need. And at the bottom of the deck is I'm scared of intimacy. So in this time of preparation, this is what they've been facing. This fear, like it says here, facing their fears about intimacy. They've been scared of intimacy. Working through this. Facing this. They've been scared of opening up to you because they've been scared of getting hurt. They've been scared of getting close to you, having that intimacy, and then it being taken away from you. And this could be, some for some of you, is scared of intimacy or, you know, the physical act of being, you know, making love and all of those, you know, that closeness. Um, so, and the reason why the Divine Muskins, you know, have this fear of intimacy is because deep within you, you've had that fear of intimacy, even though it feels as if you're the one that wants to, um, be close to your divine muscle and you want to reach out and and do all of those things there's something within you that's still scared about this however you may be showing it you you are scared because that's why the divine musculines are scared because you, you are one we are one so whatever is going on within you your divine muscle experiences and um that is why i created that card because this is something you know, a big part of my journey where I'm very scared of intimacy <laughs> and that's what I've been working through in this preparation um, on my journey. So there is something within you that's scared um, of being hurt, not being good enough, not feeling worthy of this love, about sharing the whole of you with your divine masculine, how you feel about your body, all of those things. Your divine masculine worries about as well and it's about hurt, about, about being hurt, that it's going to be taken away from you. So this is the ultimate love. Your Divine Masculine wants you to know that they know that this is the ultimate love. And this is why they've had this transformation. This, and they have had, um, they have faced their fears. They faced their fears so they can release it, so they can show you this pure true ultimate unconditional love 
You are the most precious thing in your divine masculine's life. However, whatever's happened before and what's going on now, you are the most precious thing in their life because they have the realisation now that they are precious, they are worthy of love, they are, that they are love. You have opened that up to the divine masculines, this love that they feel for you has driven them crazy <laughs> and they understand it all now and they're admitting that you're so precious and you are all I will ever need, yeah, you are all they'll ever need and they can say this now because they're taking total responsibility of themselves, managing themselves they're not relying on you to fix them. They're not relying on you to make everything okay for them because they're taking this responsibility. So they feel refreshed. They feel this newness that they can have this relationship with you and you're the one that they ever need to be able to have this relationship with, to share their life with. They don't want anybody else. They know that you're one and that you're gonna be reunited and you're the most precious thing in their life. I'm going to see what card comes out for you, Divine Feminines, now to see what you need to know right now in this moment of this beautiful Twin Flame meeting. So um, I'm going to use Archangel Michael for you, Divine Feminines, to see what you need to know to help you stay focused, to believe and trust in what you already know, to give you the understanding, the strength, the courage what is it the Divine Feminines need to know right now in this moment of this reading? Nice clear message, please. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. Yay! <laughs> That's a beautiful one to see the rainbows, guys. The rainbow and the shooting stars. And at the bottom of the deck is your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Can you believe it? Both cards saying trustworthy. So your divine masculine is trustworthy. <laughs> However it seems, it could seem you know very confusing at the moment or it could have seemed very confusing in the past by certain behaviours and things. But trust this knowing that you have within you trust this love that you feel for your divine masculine because it's trustworthy trust yourself because it's safe to feel this love for your divine masculine this is a divine relationship this is divine love and it was divinely orchestrated for your divine masculine to come into your life to wake you up to the greatest love of all and that is loving yourself and by your divine masculine's behaviours and all the experiences that you've had with your divine masculine has pushed you to have this relationship with yourself to find the greatest love of all and loving yourself. And that's what you've been doing in this preparation. So you can trust your divine masculine. So delete all the experiences of what you've had so far with your divine masculine if that upsets you and stay in the present moment because that is where the power is. Don't give your power away of how things used to be. See your divine masculine as your divine masculine and trust and know that they have had this huge transformation. They have changed and it is okay to trust them. Know that they're capable of sharing and expressing their love to you. And again, it always goes back to self. Trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust in God and then you will be trusting your divine masculine. And you wouldn't, you, you'll feel this trustworthy, that it's trustworthy to love your divine masculine. Because sometimes we do get, you know, these, we feel like we've been tricked by God, by the universe. We're thinking, well, why is that happening then? If, there's, if that's my person, why are they behaving like that? But that is just for you to put love into the situation, to see the bigger picture to learn by that experience, to let go of what it is within you that's making you feel uncomfortable, to face your fears or whatever that is. And I know that it is painful and very uncomfortable at times on this journey, but it's only uncomfortable and painful and challenging from the ego perspective. 
So your Divine Masculine is trustworthy, is the message for you today, Divine Feminines. However, it seems in your physical world right now, and keep seeing through the illusions. So I really do hope that you've enjoyed this reading. And like I said at the beginning of the reading, if you'd like a clearer message for your beautiful, unique Twin Flame journey, if you'd like a private reading, just email me. It's in the description box down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help my channel grow. And if any of you guys are interested in any of the communication decks that I've used in this reading today, that's the website that you can purchase them from is in the description box down below as well. So I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light, and I love you all so very much. See ya! Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.